all of the characters in the Harry Potter storyline are utter cliches ripped straight from the tropes of the British teenage mystery novel world. And so, let, we can actually go through them one by one and point out that they are tropes without anything particularly unique or interesting about them, whether we're talking about the cold and hostile teacher who has a grudge against our main character, who seems to be plotting against our main character, you can never trust but you have to respect him because he's an authority figure. That's been used thousands of times in teenage novels and it is just Snape to a T. Nothing new and nothing interesting. What about the, uh, the other female teacher? The other, what about the other teacher? Female, more motherly, paternalistic, kinder, yet still cold and cruel, but op more open to our characters. Again, that's just McGonagall. Nothing particularly interesting about what she represents or what she does. She's just pretty much that trope. We could keep on going. I mean, let's go to Malfoy. I mean, this sort of antagonist, this anti-hero, who really just despises our main character for no reason and wants them to, him to do nothing but fail. But isn't a villain. He hasn't, isn't trying to destroy everything and take over. He's just very nasty and cruel and he's just there to spite our main character. And again, that's just a normal, everyday trope of this genre. We could keep going through Ron and Hermione and Harry and Hagrid. They're all the same. They are just the standard, orthodox, boring tropes of the teenage novels, novel world, and particularly the teenage school mystery world. So in terms of actually providing us with interesting characters that actually make us have to really work to understand what their motivations are, how they see the world, how they understand it, and what their interactions are with our main characters. J.K. Rowling has provided us with nothing. She has just used... She has just ripped the orthodox tropes straight into her fantasy world, and that's why it's so easy... And that's why the Harry Potter books are so easy for anyone to pick up. Because the tropes are so familiar. They are instantly recognisable. And so that's why it doesn't require any mental thinking to understand what Ron is or what Hermione is. You instantly recognise who they are and you know what their motivations are, you know what they want, you know what they're doing. And there's nothing new or interesting to what they represent